someone may be coming towards you to tell you the truth, but I think you already know what's going on. You're a healer. You already know what's going on. You know balance will be brought into this situation in divine timing. So someone may be trying to send you a message. Someone is going through some type of ascension. They're healing. Someone is getting in touch with their inner child. This could be a king of cups or someone is going through some type of healing. Okay. They're getting in touch with their inner child. Not, not avoiding that aspect of themselves anymore. Uh, let me get clarity on this group. Um, that's being dismantled. Yeah, this whole collaboration, this group, there's an empress in here as well that cannot pretend anymore to be skilled. She's not skilled. <laughs> I guess it's her turn to go through karma. She's being exposed. Okay. The truth has been exposed about an empress energy in this group or in someone's life. They are not skilled. Someone does not know what they're doing. She's um she's imbalanced in every way, shape, or form. People may not even want to work with this woman anymore because they see the truth about who she is. This woman is absolutely going through some type of loss, maybe losing a marriage, some type of relationship. There's a whole community that's turning their back on this woman because they're finding out that she's nothing but a liar. She's been deceiving people out here to ensure a victory for herself. So the people that have been working with her are going within and taking a new direction. They don't want to work with her anymore. Okay. Someone has been out here pretending to be skilled, pretending to be healed, but they're nothing but, they come with nothing but drama. She comes with nothing but drama. Okay. This is all she invests her time in coming up with options and ways on how she can hinder other people. That's all. And she's been trying to possibly even block an emperor energy, hinder an emperor energy. I don't know if this is her husband, whoever this is, she's been trying to block him. Okay. From taking some type of action. Okay, this woman is absolutely karmic. She is karmic as heck. Very karmic. This is this could be someone's wife or mother, unfortunately. Unfortunately, the it came right back out. This is a liar. Someone is someone is very karmic, very deceitful. Uh I don't even know what other words to use. This is someone when you're with, you're basically trapped with them. Um, and you don't know they're doing magic behind the scenes and they're out here stalking people at their age. It's kind of embarrassing, but there's a woman, either a wife figure or mother figure that's stalking someone. Okay. We got the King of Cups coming out. Uh, this could be like her son or I don't know what this is. Maybe this is a woman that's m more mature in age than her husband. Lord, what in the world is this? What in the world is this? This could be like her son, her lover. They've all been working together to block two people from coming together. Okay. And they're all losing it behind the scenes. It's like some of these people are losing it because of what they invested into this situation. It's that we invested all this time, energy, and money, and we're not getting anything out of it. And she's more focused on the fact that I think a masculine is still leaving or he's still moving on with his life. She's not able to bind him, hold on to him or something like that. She's not able to manipulate him anymore. So she's losing a lot of, she's, she's like really, excuse me. She's really stressed out behind the scenes, losing her emotions, her temper. Someone has a nasty temper and that she tries to hide, but behind closed doors, someone knows this woman is like the plague, nothing but drama. Again, this is all she invests her time in. Okay. Nothing but drama. There's a King of Pentacles sitting behind the scenes trying to figure out why he invested in something. Right. Why did he choose to accept some type of bribery? There is something where it's either like an institution, a group of people or a person that gives money to people but him or her giving money to people, the people don't know they are being bribed. So they end up partake, partaking in something that they don't realize they already received money for. So it's like someone giving you money, but you don't know they're bribing you. They'll do it in some type of really clever way, malicious, or just some type of, it's some type of sneaky way someone gives money to people. But when they give it to you, it seems like you are friends with this person. It's not a friendship. I don't know what this is, but someone manipulates other people into taking money from them. This could be a man or a woman, 
but you accept the money and then you realize that he's bribing you. Uh, he's binding you to something. He's expecting you to do something that he wants either to go and bully someone, either for you to go and block someone's pathway, for you to take from someone, for you to lie on someone. Basically, someone has been doing this for so long is that they've created some type of cult. And some of the people within this cult don't know that they are in a cult. Okay. There's someone that pays people money or he'll just call his friends or she'll call her friends to call and just it's like say stupid stuff on a like they say someone is calling for like a job interview you schedule the job interview with them or they schedule the job interview when you call them and you're talking to them asking them questions about themselves they'll answer like and give you like the most ridiculous answers and you, if you're someone that's very intuitive like myself you pick up on it you'll keep your like me for example situations like that i'll keep my cool i will always be professional with you <laughs> Because first of all, this is my job. This is how I make money. So I'm going to stay professional with you. And I'll ask you other questions I need to ask you. Right? Um, it's something like I'll ask you questions to let you know that I know what you're up to. But I'm not going to come out and be like, I know who sent you. I'm just going to ask you questions. Right? It's something like that. Someone is hiring people behind the scenes to do something that's really stupid. And a lot of these people don't know that your information it's like being kept for later on because there will be a court case that comes out of this situation and a lot of them are going to have to testify in this situation, in this matter. So it's like a, a there's some idiot out there that has gotten a bunch of other idiots to partake in something that has put them in a bind that they are not aware of. All they needed to do was be practical about this situation this could be a queen of pentacles that's been bribing people, paying people, breadcrumbing people behind the scenes to partake in something and they didn't know the whole time. Okay? They didn't know the whole time. This is a woman that said she had all the money in the world to make sure that two people don't come together. And now her life is filled with nothing but chaos. People are fighting with her, arguing with her. People are rejecting her, not wanting to be around her. People are leaving, maybe not even answering her call. And she has a lot of problems going on behind the scenes, right? She may have paid someone to take some type of action against you, get you trapped so that they can take you out. It's like someone was either supposed to force themselves into a house or an apartment or something like that, uh, surprise you, and then what? Take you out. It was supposed to be something that's unexpected, something you didn't know was going to happen something just you know out of the blue someone shows up you let them in they're coming with some type of illusion making it seem like they're giving you some type of offer or something you show up somewhere as well and then they take you out right they were supposed to trap you in some type of environment some type of location but you knew because you're a queen of cups you get these downloads that people don't know listen what what in the world is this this energy is so draining and this was all the block Two people from coming together. And the two are still coming together. They're still... Like, these two people, they're intuitively... Like, they, these people are gifted in a way that gifted does not even emphasize how gifted these two people are. Like, two people are in, like, synchronicity on a spiritual level and a mental level. They don't have to be around each other to even know what the heck is going on. Like they just intuitively know something is going on or it's time for something and they take action. Like this, whatever this is, it's out of this world. So there's nothing anyone can do to block this because these two are spiritually gifted. Like equally gifted. It's like the man is the male version of the woman and the woman is the female version of the man. Like they, they mirror each other reflect each other like i don't know how to put this like two people are in synchronicity like it's like huh. you know like in, i don't know if you all ever watched parents trap when the two girls like first met and the shock that went through and they realized that they were like they looked the same it's something like that between two people okay between two people like they are like exactly the same but it's just one is male and one is female. But communication-wise, these two can communicate with each other telepathically. 
in the dream state, everything, right? I'm telling you, in the dream state, they communicate. The page of wands has to do with communications, good news, confidence, and things like that. So you have the judgment card out here, which has to do with like the angelic realm and things like that. Like that. And I'm talking about communication. These two connect on a spiritual level. So telepathically, they already know what time it is. And people are burdened about this. They're burdened about this. I don't, like, this is like... So one of those relationships that are just supernatural, like it's out of this world and people want to put an end to it, but they can't. So they have to reconsider their actions, their pathway, like the alliances they're making with people because these two are still going to be victorious. They're still standing their ground. It's like two people are going through the same experience, but on different paths, right? And the both of them are standing their ground and they will have victory Listen, I don't know what this is. And like their energy, you know, like when you meet people and you say they 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 match the energy, like two people match. Two people, like two people match. Two people match. That's all. I remember I had a dream where two people came together and it's like they were communicating telepathically. Again, there they go. There they go. Two people communicate telepathically like one does not have to say what they're thinking and this is because these two are ascended masters they are ascended masters it's a if someone has something to say they don't even have to say it the other person knows so i don't know what this is where a group of people thought they were going to block this this is like <sighs> I don't even know what else to say. Like these people are running out of options on how to weigh two people down, how to block two people, how to defeat two, they how to defeat two people. They can't defeat two people because they're each standing their ground and taking actions at the right time, right? On how to invest in their life, their path, their healing. Like two people, I don't know how to say this. There are two people like mirroring each other and the way they're mirror, mirroring each other is terrifying. It's terrifying. I think the feminine energy may be a little bit more scarier than the male actually is what I'm hearing. Like the feminine energy, when you see them, they may appear like a queen of cups, but there's something terrifying about this woman. People don't know. And I think because they don't know something about this woman, they tend to play around with her a lot. But someone is not to be played with. Someone is full of, full of a lot of surprises. Like they see her as a queen of cups, but then they get met with this energy if they try her. There's something about a woman. I'm telling you, there's a queen of cups. People need to learn how to hold back. Like they see her as a queen of cups. And then they think, oh, I can go in and play with her. She looks really feeble and naive. She looks young and, and she looks isolated and rejected. She looks like she's out in the cold, right? And then you go and temper with someone and then you get met with this energy, right? It's like someone is a bull, like a lion or something. And then when you mess with them, you end up in this energy and you don't know why and how it happened. Like someone is walking karma and when you're done messing with them, you end up with what burdens. There's a queen of pentacles behind the scenes that's way down and burdened because she messed with a queen of cups and she thought a queen of cups was really young, feeble, naive looking. And now this woman, this queen of pentacles is out here living in fear and anxiety because there's some type of imbalance in her life that she's going through. That she did not expect. This woman is going through an ending. I split my deck and it split on the death. She's going through some type of ending. Either in her finances or whatever she invests in is not giving her any type of good return on investment. Someone is trapped in some type of karmic cycle. Dark karmic cycle that she cannot find her way out of. And this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. I'm telling you, she cannot find her way out of this no matter what. And it's because of something she said about a queen of source. 
So the queen of cups that she saw and thought she could just take her down, she came for someone and she got met with this energy, the queen of swords energy. And now there's a queen of pentacles out here that don't know what to do. You have a queen of wands as well that lies a lot, maybe trying to deceive an emperor out here. And he sees right through her, all of these women, because I get a lot of energy about a lot of women. They're fighting amongst themselves. There's a group, there's a, there's a friend, friendship group behind the scenes that's fighting, arguing, right? Going through endings, I'm telling you. And the whole time, there's a high priestess, possibly the same queen of cups they were coming after that knows exactly what these people are going through. And she's sitting back, minding her mother effing business. And not getting involved because she knew the whole time the role that lied ahead of these people because of what they were investing in. They invested in trying to defeat someone, an ascendant master. They always get their wish fulfillment and their wish is what for these people to lay the heck down. So this queen of pentacles here, lay down, burden, okay? She have been practical about some type of action she took. But someone is very superficial and now she's out here hanging like in limbo. Out here looking like dry meat from Africa. Yeah, she came after a queen of cups. She either came after a queen of cups life, their resources, everything they invested in. She decided to trample it and bring it to an end. And now she's going through some type of ending. They were trying to steal from someone. Took some type of action to keep someone in some type of mental imprisonment. She may she may want to come towards you and say something to you about an emperor energy. You don't care about any of that. She wants to tell you a bunch of lies about an emperor. How he's this and he's that. He sleeps around and he, you know, he's controlling. He's a this and he's a that. Because she thinks that's going to lead to some type of victory and you'll be wanting to hold back from this emperor. Okay? I don't know what kind of low vibrational activity this is. It's a little bit too much for me. I'm going to hurry up and get up out of this. The, the whole karmic group don't martyr themselves hanging out here. Like I'm telling you, like our dry meat. I can't. I cannot. This chapter is over. Yeah, this chapter is over. There's a queen of one. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> There's a queen of wands out here. I said something about a woman being a destiny blocker and using a man for his money. This is someone that's very dark. Someone that's not listening to their intuition. When their intuition tells them not to do something, they still do it. Someone is financially focused. The reason she was doing something and the reason you do something are two different things. She does it for the money. You do it for the fulfillment because it brings pleasure to other people. It helps people heal. It brings people into alignment with their higher selves. It helps them go through some type of ascension. This woman don't give two hits about any of that. She said, where's the money? That's all I care about. The high priestess in the reverse is someone that's very vain, financially focused, full of a lot of deceits, right? Not in alignment with their higher self so they don't listen to their intuition. They don't even know how to listen to their intuition. So this is this woman. She and a king of cups. Like the whole group that came after you, basically, they're going through this. I'll tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lot. This whole group is going through it. All uh, the lies, all the deceit, everything. These people were partying at one point because they thought they had successfully destroyed a, a queen of cups. And now that balance is being brought out here because the whole community, the whole family, the friendship group, they're all under judgment. I'm telling you. They ain't having a good time. The whole group is under some type of judgment. Going through endings. They took some type of quick action to, to do you something. And it led to an ending for them. They're trapped. This was like a short-lived victory. Now they're in fear. Right? Because a queen of what? Queen of cups is still investing in their path. In their journey, in their purpose. I don't know how to put that. And they will have wish fulfillment with a king of swords. Right? Who's going to be presenting them with a new offer and it will be successful. Listen. Whatever this is, it's like they thought 
blocking you and your soul twin or whoever you were supposed to be with initially was just going to take you out. But that whoever he was, she was fell from grace. And the universe said, well, we're stepping in to give him. I said universe and it opened up on the full and then the judgment card. The universe said, we're stepping in to give you more options. So you're never alone. Everything on your path, your birthright, everything is protected. Your intellect, your mental is protected. They were trying to disturb someone's mental. They wanted people to see you as someone very dumb, incompetent, but here you are showing as the hermit. Wise as can be. I don't know what this is. This is too low vibrational for me. This is, yeah, I'm telling you, your pathway is clear. You're protected. You're secure. Your new beginning. Yeah, they wanted to block that down and keep you way down. It's not happening. You're sailing into the sunset, protected, secure, supported, everything. And the whole group is watching you as you sail onto calmer waters. You're moving on. Mo I'm telling you. Everything they're going through. You may have a couple out here that wants to apologize to you. You don't need no apology from these people. They're living in fear because of the karma they're about to go through. Like someone is about to be out here begging. Like she may even come to a, a earth angel to ask them to please forgive her husband because of the amount of karma. Someone may come out here and beg an earth angel to forgive her husband, remove some type of curse because of the karma he's about to go through. He'll be living in a lot of fear. These people may even be afraid of you. They were trying to cause you anxiety, fear, and things like that, harvesting your energy, talking about if we do this for her, if we do this for him, we'll be blessed. No, 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 no. Whatever this man is about to go through, oh, baby, it's going to be a nightmare. It's going to be a nightmare. There's a queen of cups behind the scenes that's being exposed and she's losing her emotions behind the scenes. And this is the God's honest truth because someone else is getting their wish fulfillment, which she tried to steal from someone. And she was hiding this behind the scenes that she was trying to steal a divine connection right? A soulmate connection behind the scenes. Someone was pissed off that a masculine thought highly of you, that a masculine wanted to be with you. So she stepped in to cause some type of blockage. And now she's going through some type of karma. The whole group is going through karma. They thought it was funny at first. It's not funny anymore. Now that the scales are being balanced out, these people feel weighed down. That is possibly why I feel so exhausted. Yeah, I said weighed down. That's why I feel so exhausted doing this message. Like I, I, I had a whole lot of energy before I sat down here, was cooking and everything, drinking my water, minding my business, talking to my ancestors. And then I sat down here to do this read. And then, yeah, this is what your enemies are going through behind the scenes. Feeling way down, losing resources, losing connections. Someone is being let, put out of an institution. Someone is, I don't know what this is. Everybody martyred themselves everybody there's an emperor that knows who you are now but the the time they're finding out who you are is too late like you you're not wanting an offer from someone because you know they're full of nothing but bs okay they're full of nothing but bs and there's something about their character you need to be aware of so you don't want to offer from them Someone is having nightmares, crying a lot over you because now they know who you are, who the true empress is. That's what I'm hearing. They went and collaborated with the fake empress. They had no skills, nothing. Sure. Uh, there's some type of divorce going on behind the scenes as well. With that three of pentacles in the reverse on top of that empress energy, there's a divorce going on. There's some type of separation going on. There's a masculine. Yeah, that's the God's honest truth. There's a masculine that wants to live a fulfilling life and he does not want to be stuck with a karmic woman anymore. This is a wife that he's leaving. This is a wife that he's leaving. Yeah, he's leaving a wife. Meanwhile, you're about to get married, whoever you are. You're about to be a wife to someone else. Very affluent. Yeah, very affluent. Possibly with a wealthy man or to a wealthy man, whatever this is. Okay. Man, listen, let me get my last card so we can get up out of here. But your, yeah, your ancestors are looking after you. They're protecting you. 
whoever the queen of cups is behind the scenes has been trying to steal from you is under judgment as well like everybody she may want to come in give you some type of friendship you're not interested she knows you're not interested i think you may have extended some type of friendship to someone before and it was a friendship of commitment you offer it to them before and they rejected it they instead decided to go and smear your character lied on you and things like that and now that they're going through some type of ending because your ancestors are tearing that behind up now she's out here wanting to connect with you. Someone may have participated in something with a group of people for approval, for a validation. That's why it's important to have a mind of your own, okay? But someone is coming towards you to give you some type of offer, Queen of Cups. You keep coming up as a Queen of Cups. And I think that's because this is how these people are starting to see you now. Like, this is how someone sees you as the Queen of Cups, which I think you are actually an Empress energy, but because they're seeing you as the Queen of Cups now, meaning they know the truth about you and that you are someone very genuine, very nurturing, very kind, sincere. Um, you love genuinely without any type of ulterior motive and no expectation. Expectations, this is why they're seeing you as the Queen of Cups, but you are all queens in the deck. So you are a, an Empress energy, and I'm getting like a high priestess as well. Okay. So I'm going to do two of these because, honey, I got to go eat. Okay. I ate before I sat down and now I'm hungry again because these people are, are weighing me down with this negative energy. It says I am stable. And I said something about stability, how these people were trying to dismantle someone's stability. Maybe it was in the first half of this reading. Um, the previous video you can check it out but these people are trying to dismantle someone's stability and this is why they were taking all of these actions they didn't want a masculine seeing you as someone stable here it is it's coming out that you are stable it says you bring stability and rationality to any situation you are the rock in your hard work and perseverance make you a dependable friend partner and colleague i am stable so maybe this is what they were telling someone that you were unstable mentally, emotionally, physically, psychologically, financially, in life, everything. They told someone you were a hot mess, like you are not someone to be associated with. It said e ease resentment. Okay, so collective, whatever these people have done to you, if they cause you a loss, don't hold any grudges in your heart because you know that's how you block your blessings in, li in life. Okay? Holding resentment in your in your heart. Do not hold any resentment. It said embrace forgiveness and let go of past burdens. Forgive yourself too. Because sometimes when things happen, people do us something, right? We'll say, oh, it's my fault that I was in that situation. It was this. It was that. I should have done this. I shouldn't have done that. Why did I? Don't do any of that to yourself. Forgive yourself and let, allow yourself to heal so you can live an abundant life. Okay? You're not supposed to be out here crying and things like that. Living in remorse. Don't do that. Okay? Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. Okay? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.